Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do smoked oxtails. Hey, this is soul food where I'm from. All the good restaurants down here in the south know how to braise up some oxtails. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the smoker. Let's get to cooking. So I've got about four and a half pounds of oxtails here. You can see it's about seven or eight big pieces. You get a few of the smaller pieces too. And what oxtail is, it's actually beef. It's the cow's tail. Um, there's a piece of cartilage that runs down through the center of it, but it's surrounded by all this thick beef. It's marbled with a lot of fat, so you know it's gonna have a ton of flavor, but you gotta cook it slow. You gotta braise it typically to break it down so it's juicy and so it has a ton of flavor and that's what we're going for today. What I'm going to do first is get a light trim on it. I mean these oxtails have a lot of fat on them so if there's some on the outside edges all I do is just take a knife and break it down. You don't have to get all of it but you just want to clean them up around the edges. That's all there is to the trimming process. Now I want to get some seasoning on it and I'm going with my hot barbecue rub because I want some salt and I want some pepper on these but the rest of the seasonings in the rubs also give it a nice taste. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a little seasoning on it. You don't have to go real heavy, just want a good coat. And we're gonna flip them around. We're gonna get all sides of these oxtails. This is where we're gonna start developing that flavor. Hey, and you could use any seasoning you want on these oxtails. I mean, just simple salt and pepper would be great. Your favorite rub that you like, that would give it a ton of flavor. This hot rub is gonna bring some heat and that's really what I'm going for. All right, that looks good on the seasoning to me. Now what we're gonna do is just let these oxtails hang out for a few minutes on the cutting board while I fire up my cooker. And I'm using my Gateway Drum Smoker today. You can use any kind of smoker for this job. You want indirect heat, we're gonna be cooking about 275 degrees. I'm starting with a good basket of Royal Oak Lump Charcoal, just using a couple wax cubes to get the fire going. And leave the lid off until the coals get going really well. Then we're gonna add a piece of pecan wood. You can use your favorite wood there, but I really like the flavor that pecan gives in the smoke. And we're gonna close the drum off and adjust the vent so it comes up to 275. Then we're gonna be ready to cook. All right, I got the drum up to 275 right where I want it. We're gonna get these oxtails right on the grates. Get them in some of this good pecan smoke. Looks good to me. Let's get the lid right back on. So this part of the cook, I'm just gonna hold the pit here at 275 and I'm wanting to develop some color on the outside. That's where we're gonna build up some flavor, get that bark going. It's gonna take a couple hours and we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you how we braise them. Y'all stick around, check this out. Right, the oxtails have been smoking right along, smelling good out here. It's been about an hour and a half. I wanna check on them, see how they're doing, make sure they're cooking even. Let that smoke clear out a little bit. You can see what they're looking like. Color's looking really great on them. We're getting some of that bark. Now I just wanna make sure they cook even. I wanna get some char on both sides of them. So I'm just gonna flip each one of these over. Then we're gonna let them go another half hour or so. Come back and it'll be time to start really breaking these oxtails down. Check that out, that is beautiful. We're just getting the lid right back on, make sure our vents are still adjusted. We're gonna to continue to cook these, get some color on both sides. About another half hour, it's gonna be time to move them to our pot and that braising liquid. We go inside and get that put together, show you what it looks like. While our oxtails are out there getting some color on them in the smoker, I'm gonna go ahead and put together the braising liquid we're gonna to use to break them down. I'm gonna start with a little olive oil in a pan. We're gonna add our chopped onions or celery or carrot. Add in some chopped garlic, and then we need a good tablespoon of tomato paste. This is gonna make it thick. We're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce, a little balsamic vinegar, and then we're gonna add a cup of red wine. And you wanna use a good drinking red wine, something that you'd like to have with dinner. Let that reduce, cook the alcohol off that wine, and finally, we're just gonna add a couple cups of beef broth. It's gonna be our liquid. We want it to all come together, and cook down a little bit, about 10 minutes, and then it's gonna be ready to go over these oxtails. All right, it's been another 30 minutes on these oxtails, and I know they're gonna be ready to get off. They're gonna have all the color that I want on them, so we're gonna pull them off the drum here. We've still got some good smoke rolling. Holding that temp steady at 275. So I'm gonna start pulling these things off. I'm just using some tongs here. Got some good bark going on them and color looks great. That's what you want to see. Now we just need to get them tender. So let's take them over to the cutting board and show you what we're going to do. Check those out. Beautiful color on the outside of them. That hot rod did the trick. So I've just got an iron pot and a Dutch oven here and I'm going to start with a little bit of that braising liquid in the bottom of it. You want some of those chunks in there from the carrots and the onions, the celery. Now we're just going to set our pieces of oxtail down in the braising liquid and I'm going to add some more. I'm going to pile them up. Man, these look good. 
Then I'm gonna pour the rest of our liquid in here over it. Hey, if you wanna go over the top of them, that's fine. I want all those carrots and onions. All oh, that's gonna cook down anyway. That's just gonna be flavor. It's gonna make a lot more juice too. That looks great. Now everything's in the pot. We just wanna cover it with some aluminum foil. Trap all that steam in there. Now we're ready to go right back on the drum and we're gonna need several more hours. We're just gonna cook them to the oxtails break down, to all that fat renders down, leaves us with a good lean meat and it's gonna be soft. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get it back on the pit. And we're just setting it right back on center of the drum, getting the lid back on. We're not worried about smoke at this point. If there's still some, on, if there's still some wood on there burning, that's perfectly okay. We're just holding these temps steady at 275. We're gonna come back and we're gonna check it every hour or so. See when we get fork tender, where that meat's ready to pull off that tail. It's gonna be dynamite, y'all stick around. All right, we've been cooking for one hour since we've covered them up with the foil. We're gonna check these oxtails out and see how they're coming on the tender factor. Ooh, simmering away. And I'm just looking to see, still got a ways to go. Not breaking down, they're breaking down, but they still got a ways to go. We want them really tender, almost, you know, falling off the bone. So let's cover them up and just keep on cooking. All right, it's been two and a half hours since we've had our oxtails wrapped here. And I wanna check them, see where we're at. I'm hoping they are ready to go. We've got a lot of liquid in there, still simmering. They are looking great. Oh yeah, now see, I can tell the difference. They are super soft. I mean, when you can pick them up here, that meat is just ready to come off. That's what I wanna see. So what we're gonna do now is we'll wear some gloves and we're gonna move our pot over to the cutting board. We're gonna get these oxtails out of the braising liquid. And I'm gonna use some tongs and we're just gonna take these out, get them out of all those juices. Cause I wanna save this juice. I'm gonna take it inside. We're gonna uh, strain it and pour off some of the fat that's on top of it. We're gonna use that as a sauce to serve over the top of them. Man, these things smell and look incredible. And I can tell they're just as tender as can be. I mean, the tongs will just go right through it. So you want to be kind of be careful. You don't want to break them up. You want to leave them as kind of uh, intact as much as possible for serving. We've got all that good caramelized color on them from when we put the smoke to them and the rub. They cooked in all that good wine and beef broth. That looks awesome. So you can tell they're screaming hot. We're just gonna let them rest a little bit. I'm gonna put some foil over the top of them because I'm just gonna leave them sitting here on the cutting board while I go inside and strain the liquid. I'll be right back. We're gonna have a sauce ready. We're gonna show you how we're gonna plate up these oxtails. It's gonna be great. All right, just, I ran inside real quick and I poured that liquid through a wire strainer and I just got rid of the vegetables. And then it left me with a liquid and a little bit of the fat come to the top. I dipped that off and then it left me with this awesome sauce. And I'm gonna put that over the top of these oxtails. I've just got a platter of rice that I'm serving it with here. So I'm just piling them up on the plate of rice. And you know, put as many as you want. I want a big full platter. I mean, these things are awesome. That meat's gonna taste just unbelievable as it melts in your mouth. It's all the fats cooked out of it. And we're left with this lean tasting beef. And it's as good as any short rib that you've ever tried. And it's kind of what it reminds me of. And I'm just gonna ladle some of this sauce over the top of it. I mean, look at that. That looks unbelievable. The last thing I would do is just garnish it a little bit. I just want a little green onion. I've got some sliced green onion. You could use parsley, whatever you want, just something to make it pop. But that is what I call smoked oxtails. And it was really easy to do. I mean, all I did was took some oxtails from the grocery store, seasoned them with my hot rub. I got them on the pit 275 for a couple hours, flipped them halfway through to get some good color on them, get that bark going. Then we made that braising liquid. You know, it had beef broth in it, but we fortified it with some red wine, a little tomato paste, the veg, the carrots, onions, celery. All that were the building blocks for the flavor that we braised it. And we just cooked it for about two and a half hours until it broke down. And now I get to try it. I mean, I can't wait to get in here and get a bite. And man, that just melts. Look at that, I got a little rice on that one. Oh no, it's gonna be hot. Man, that is incredible flavor right there. It's so rich. It's like some of the best beef you'll ever eat and you would never know it when they're coming from the tail section. A lot of times that's overlooked and just because it's a lesser cut of beef doesn't mean it's not fabulous when you put it on the smoker. I gotta get another bite of this. I mean, that meat, it's so moist and it's so tender. It just kind of falls apart. Mm. Mm. 
it kind of reminds me of that texture of a really, really good burn in with all that flavor. And you can taste the wine that we cooked down in it. It's really got a bold flavor. All those spices come through from the rub. I mean, this is one hearty dish that you would love to serve to your family or friends. I'm telling you, they're gonna love it. And the rice with it, I'm gonna get a little bit more rice with some of that sauce on it. Cause that really has a ton of flavor. Mm. This dish tastes good enough to be on any fancy restaurant menu, but this is soul food. And it's just cooked low and slow. You take your time with it and develop all that flavors. And it makes an unbelievable dish. And it's all done outside on the smoker. You gotta love that. Hey, thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. It'll let you know we put out new videos. We'll be putting them out all year long. You can also send comments to Facebook and Twitter. We love those and we try to answer them all. We'll see you guys next time. It's a mighty fine tail mate right there.